Hello friends and neighbors. Swagman Piper 1926 here. You can see the background looks different. It is real. I you know, haven't figured out green screen or anything. I'm not that high tech. But uh this is uh one of the little parts on my uh, property. And uh You can hear the leaves falling, or maybe. <clears throat> Smoking my uh, 7LE 614 or the uh, Roman Lewis Hyde, or as I affectionately call it, and some others, the 7LE saxophone. And in it, that uh, doesn't want to stay lit is some um, uh, John Cotton's Double Press Lockheed. Got to get my uh, little drill bit out and clean the airways. Or, <clears throat> you know, get the, the cake there at the bottom that blocks everything. And I hear you. Preventative maintenance. Run a pipe cleaner through every other, you know, light or smoke or whatever. No. So. <laughs> it's already been a fun morning, folks. The, uh. Ah, it's just. Uh, it's just gonna be a good day, I think. Or, uh. Not a good day, but one of those days. But it is what it is. Can't do nothing about it right now. So, how's there? How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend, or at least a bearable one? Well, I hope you did. If you didn't, or uh, obviously, hope everyone had a wonderful, fabulous weekend, and we'll have a good Monday if there is such a thing. Um, my weekend was somewhat lazy, truthfully. I did some work. I drank some coffee. Actually, I think I drank more coffee than I did work. I'm going to tell you something else I've realized. <clears throat> and I don't know if it's because, you know, I've got a birthday coming up and, you know, it, the, the gradually getting older kind of thing just always comes and hits you. Or what. But I've noticed that... Um, I'm like one of those sports cars. You know, the kind of thing that'll pass anything but a gas station. Yeah, I, I can pass anything but a, but a bathroom. Had to drive down into, uh, what would that be, Western? Western Kentucky? Well, I spent about three and a half hours on the road Friday. And that's one one way. And I think I had to stop about every forty five minutes to use the bathroom. That's terrible. Folks, I'm not that old yet. My gracious. I didn't even drink that much coffee. I don't know what I'm going to do if I ever reach that point where I'm actually old. Candy dandy check tool. Or pipe knife or 
whatever you decide to have at that moment. So, <clears throat> what would that have been? Tuesday, I believe it was, Tuesday night. Come home from work. And uh, the wife had fixed a fabulous dinner, I might add. Um, it's supposed to be 30 minute chicken parm, parmesan, parmesan, however you supposed to pronounce that. And, uh, which I don't think she said it was 30 minutes, but that's neither here nor there. The, uh, um, but she, she's, we, we sit down and she says, uh, Russell, have you told daddy what happened? Or what's you know going to happen at school, and <clears throat> and I you know I'm waiting for it because this is what he do at school, what he get in trouble for, kind of deal. And he said, "Oh no, no, I haven't told him." Well, you know, come on and tell me, son, what's what's going on? He said, the "Book fair's coming to school." I said, "Oh." Okay. I said, well, that's, that sounds nice. And his mommy says, what else? And he says, and I'm going to go and I'm going to get this book and I'm going to get this book and, and I'm going to buy Adriana this book. I said, what? And he's just jabbering along. So my wife finally tells me that he, apparently out of his own own volition, if you will, has come to the conclusion that he has to go ask the third grade teacher if he can take and walk her baby girl, which is in preschool, just like a grade below him, to the book fair. And just, just as long as, as you know, she allows it. And he's very excited, extremely excited. And then my wife tells me that he actually walked uh, them to the preschool and uh, he, the, the, him and, and the little girl held hands. And apparently, thankfully, he was a perfect gentleman. Held the door and everything. Whenever they got into preschool, he took and put the little girl's uh, book bag up and the lunchbox where it's supposed to be and... And he said, I'm going to take and buy her this book, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And I said, son, before you get too excited, you may consider about what you're doing. And uh, if you go much further, you're going to start ask, having to ask your daddy if you can start a visit with her or not. And he'll be sick, folks. Just imagine whenever you put a one in front of that sick, what he's going to be. Or what he better be. And, uh, the, uh, 
the boy that I mentioned the other day, the one who, who told me a lie that he spoke to his grandmother, didn't <clears throat> he struck again. Apparently, uh, for some kind of class, or they were watching a movie, and and apparently this young man has a type, which apparently are little blondes, and uh, he was possibly seen holding the hand of a little blonde, which is a no-go at a Christian school. And once more, the little blonde knew better, but he told my wife that he didn't do it. Well, because, you know, she's somehow or another, folks, I have adopted or have stepchildren. That's some majority of the teenagers of church. I don't know how it happened. I don't recall signing any paperwork, but daggone it, if they don't just cling particularly to my wife and somewhat to myself. I guess I'm just not as approachable as she is. But you make her mad. <laughs> he just didn't know. Poor fool, he didn't know what he was doing. Well, he lied to her. Said, oh no, I didn't, I wasn't holding hands. So she asked the little girl and said, you know, I'm coming to you as a friend. This is a warning kind of thing. You know, be truthful. And she asked the little girl the same kind of questions, or respectively the same kind of questions. And, uh, you know, typical answers. But she she hesitated. Did you, did you two hold hands? And I you know, no. You know, nothing, no trouble against you now unless I find out you lied to me. So the little girl said, yes, we were holding hands, but only for like five minutes. So my wife, as soon as the young lady left, counted to about 15, I think she said, and then made a beeline for the uh, high school hallway and hollered that boy's full name. And bless his heart. It just, mm -mm. It was just bad. Hollered that bull's name. You come into such and such classroom now. So he comes slumping along. The, uh, I, I guess you would call him a, a janitor, but he's also like a security officer kind of deal. You know, he kind of, kind of fills both places. He knew what was happening. He started, you could see him, and this is my wife telling me this. He said, you can kind of see him do this and walk away with himself kind of jerking. He's laughing. And then the pastor, the pa the principal, but he's also the pastor. Whenever the name was hollered, he did one of these. And then just started drinking his coffee again. Yeah, they all know. So, wasn't bad enough that he's skating on thin ice with me. Now, where she has actually spoke up for him in school, she did that to her. Not looking good for him. Well, folks, it's almost 15 minutes. Gracious sakes. I've held y'all too late or a little too long. Hopefully y'all have a good Monday. If I don't see you beforehand, you have a good week. 
Take care of yourselves and remember, kindness cost us nothing.